Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is an important month for you, without a doubt. It isn't just the fact that you've got Venus going retrograde in your sign, but we've also got a new moon in your sign as well. Now, normally you get one new moon per sign per year, and this is your moment. This is your brand new beginning. It's like your personal new year happening at the very beginning of your birthday month. Now, this month does mark a turning point for you, but it may not be obvious right away. There's a new look at self and you're not finding the answers, at least not totally just yet, but you are in the midst of valuable experiences, the kind that will allow some sense of a fresh start, but that you will build on for a long time to come well after this month is over. It is going to be next month that things really start to accelerate for you. And it is part of a larger trend that is going to take you right through 2021. As the North Node steps into your sign next month, we start having eclipses, an eclipse in your opposite sign at first, later this year with eclipses taking place in your sign. So there's a lot that I have already spoken about, like in the year ahead horoscope and the Venus retrograde special horoscope, all of that is available in the superstar space on my website, all of that. But I want to help you to put that larger context into the context of right now, the connection to right now, because right now is what is valuable and what matters. As we get to the middle of the month, fully four planets will be retrograde, including Venus. And Venus is a personal planet. So when a personal planet goes retrograde, we feel it that much more. But you add to that, it's Venus retrograde in your sign. And this becomes about you considering and contemplating love on all kinds of levels. Now, wherever your contemplations lead. It is going to be the new moon that happens right around the 22nd of this month that allows you a fresh start, a new beginning that brings stability, that brings progress and helps you to take a more mature approach. It is a moment of groundedness in an otherwise month that could be kind of confusing. Now, I understand as the month begins with a lot of the world on some form of social distancing or social isolation, I know that there are Geminis out there who have felt stressful in terms of how you're managing your, uh, I don't want to say finances necessarily, because simply Venus in your sign isn't just about finances, but I'm seeing this energy as indulgence, overall indulgence whether that is in behaviors, whether that is in spending, uh, it is important for you to just be mindful. That's all, just to be mindful. That can go a very long way towards channeling this energy in a way that is helpful to you. Again, it could be in behaviors. It could be with alcohol or escapist behaviors. These are things you're going to want to be careful of, and yet there's that new moon. There's that break from illusion that is going to be so strong this month, the break from escapism and this sense of knowing what it is that you have to do, knowing what the right thing is to do, the mature thing is to do, and understanding where it is that you're ready, not just to begin again, but to start to move your life in a direction of adulthood. Now, ultimately, the highest privilege of being an adult is to know that you are responsible for your own happiness, but finding genuine happiness that is rooted in being true to oneself. Well, that may be tricky for much of the month until we get to that new moon and you start to find clarity, some clarity that you can root yourself in and grow forward from there. So it is a powerful new moon what matters to you most, what matters to you first, who you know yourself to be, is going to grow and mature in some way that brings self-respect.
Now elsewhere in the sky early in the month, right around the 7th is when we will have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So whether this is your workplace, whether you're working from home or with homes, or whether it is that you are someone who's having to go out into the world, um, it is going to bring a focus on the work that you are doing, the people that you interact with. For those of you who've been wanting to make changes, it is this full moon that may give you the opportunity to do just that. It does look like there is some sense of a compromise that needs to take place with Mercury across the sky from this full moon. And yet there is this beautiful connection playing out between this full moon and Neptune, a supremely harmonious connection, which says that there is faith, that there are positive developments that can help you to feel like things are coming together for you and your faith is being rewarded. So again, whether that's a change in your work situation or an improvement in the type of work that you're doing, but what can also be covered here is your health and your health related habits, your sense of well being may come into focus at this time, and there may very well be some good news on that front. Where it comes to matters of love, I just first want to say next month is huge for you. Venus is retrograde this month in your sign, which in and of itself would be big in love, but then next month we've got the eclipse happening in your opposite sign, the first of a series of eclipses that'll take you right through 2021. So there is that to look forward to, and I'll talk about it as we go along and once we get there. But for now, it is about Venus connecting with Neptune in tension throughout the month. There is a sense of uncertainty now, but also very strong desire to know love. There is a longing here, but also a sense of faith and engagement. You are one of the signs though that is gonna need to be careful of things like catfishing, especially if it is that you are open to meeting someone new. It doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to happen, but whether it is that you are seeing what you hope or whether it is that uh, something is being presented to you that is not necessarily the, the real deal, these are some things that you are going to have to be mindful of. If it is that you're just starting to get to know someone, it may feel as if you're filling in a lot of uh, unknowns there. And it is your own desire that is very strong to know love, to be loved. It could be that you're skipping over steps that might actually be quite important. But the other thing with this energy, because of that Neptune and that washing away quality, well, it may feel like this person is not consistent. Like they show up and there's a real sense of interest and then they kind of go away and you don't know where they went for a while as they come back around. These are some experiences you might attract this month. And if it is that you are in an established bond, look, I have found this energy can go one of two ways. Either you will feel madly in love, even if nothing has changed and there's no reason why you should and there's been issues, but you just don't see them right now. You feel so in love, which can be a good feeling. At the same time, though, it can go the other way where you may be seeing things much more pessimistically than they uh, need to or deserve to be seen. But just be mindful, what is happening in your life in the days after the full moon? Because it is the days following the full moon that will in some way start to give you some indications into what is coming up with the eclipse next month. And that can help you to understand not only your partner more, but also how it is that the relationship is set to evolve and move forward. It's the very first indications here now that you'll step more fully into once that eclipse shows up. What I love about this month for you, well, it's got to be the new moon in your sign. That is powerful. That is purposeful. And that is one that sets you up for a much more stable future. Trust the reality that is showing up for you. It is life on life's terms. It's not so much about what you hope or what you wish. There's enough of that energy, but it is about what actually is. And if you are willing, if you are able to take a step back and take that honest stock in the most practical sense, you will likely find not only is your life good, but it's getting better and better. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, as well as unlimited access to special horoscopes, including your Venus retrograde special horoscope, which will be something really interesting for the Geminis out there to watch. Well, all of that is available on my website, nadiashaw.com. Sign up to one of my superstars. You get expanded exclusive video scopes every week and unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.